a good afternoon. This is Dr. Taylor. And, uh, I want to give uh, a week two update for English 302 British Literature 2. Uh, so last week, I hope everyone did the reading because it could potentially correspond to this week's D2L post. Uh, but for this week, uh, let us take a look at our course schedule to see uh, what it is we need to do this week. So I will share my screen. All right, so the first thing I'd like to clarify, and a couple of you emailed me about the poetry of William Blake. Uh, when I designed the class, I was, I was much tougher, but now I'm, I'm getting softer in my older age. Uh, for for uh, the William Blake poems, uh, I need you to read from Songs of Innocence, The Lamb, The Little Black Boy, and The Chimney Sweeper. And then from the Songs of Experience, The Fly, The Tiger, London, to Tirza, and a divine image on top of Blake's The Marriage of Heaven and Hell. Uh, I really like The Marriage of Heaven and Hell, uh, so I hope that a lot of you write about it in your forum post. Uh, so let us take a look at the content section of our course. Uh, and if we take a look at week two, 131 to 26, uh, you do need to read through the poems that I had just mentioned, plus uh, the brief excerpt from Mary Wollstonecraft's from uh, vindication of the rights of women. Uh, and once you do that, then it will be possible for you to begin pondering uh, your the first D2L post of our course. And, and if you uh, reflect back to week one, uh, where I where I had you guys watch the Romantics documentary, uh, plus the, the period introduction uh, for the Romantic period, it corresponds with the D2L post for week one. Uh, so if you take a look here, uh, for the first, first forum post, I'd like you to express the central tenets of the Romantic period. That is, what makes Romantic literature Romantic literature? It would be useful to examine pages 10 to 20 of the Norton Anthology uh, from, the, from the period introduction. Uh, pages 10 to 20 really speak uh, to what makes the Romantic period the Romantic period. So if you need to skim through uh, the 20 plus pages of the period introduction, pages 10 to 20 uh, will be of the utmost importance in understanding uh, the Romantic period. And then I had also added a Google slide on British Romanticism, and you can find that right here. Uh, and then after you have uh, come up with some sort of definition of the era, explore how either William Blake or Mary Wollstonecraft contributed to the Romantic period. What do they say in their works that express some of the tenets of the time period? Uh, you can either pick a poem or two of Blake's or a chapter or portion of Wollstonecraft. Uh, your post should be between 150 to 250 words. Uh, you must read five, but you do not have to respond to any. And the reason I decided you don't have to respond to any is because in my six years of teaching, when I read through the forum posts, everyone's always like, I agree with what you said about this author. It's such a good perspective. So I'm going to try to figure out more creative ways throughout the course of the semester for you to respond to your peers that uh, take away your ability to say, I agree, uh, or I thought your insights were so amazing. Uh, I had a friend uh, in graduate school who was very mean in the discussion forums, uh, but it was useful because he came at your ideas and he made you think. Well, I'm not encouraging you guys to be mean in the discussion forums, uh, but don't have any problem uh, poking or prodding at someone's argument if you find that you don't agree with it. I don't have a problem with that, uh, but still maintain some degree of civility. And then if we go into the, the actual discussion forum, a couple have already done it, uh, but be reminded that the post is due Sunday, February 7th uh, at 11.59 p.m. Uh, so be sure to get that in because uh, there, there won't be any backtracking on this. And I think that pretty much covers everything that we need to do for our class. Um, if you didn't do the readings first week or you were a late addition, uh, do watch the documentary. And then if you have to play catch up with the romantic period, read pages 10 to 20 
uh, of, of this, uh, what I have printed out here or scanned for you guys. 10 to 20 would be most useful. And then read the select poems from William Blake. You just check the announcements. Uh, read from Vindication of the Rights of Women uh, in the Norton Volume D, and then complete the forum post. I will be chiming into the forums uh, throughout the course of the week. Uh, so do know that I, since uh, this is an online class and we aren't meeting face to face, uh, I will play a more active role uh, in commenting in the discussion forums. Uh, but as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns uh, about the class, uh, do not hesitate to email me, and I'd be more than happy to help any of you out. Otherwise, have a great second week, and take care.